So today we're going to be looking at the Robin Hood station on the East and West Yorkshire Union Railway. So Robin Hood is situated exactly four miles from Leeds and four miles from Wakefield. So it's right bang in the middle of both cities. Now we are going to be looking at the rest of the railway at a later date. But for today we're just concentrating on the Robin Hood station and the Robin Hood area. Okay, so for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Robin Hood station section of the line. Now, in the last video, we went down to Loft House and covered the Loft House section of the line. And we left you at the A61 road bridge, which was just up here at the end of the cutting there. So we left you here at the bridge. And for today's video, we're going to be starting right at this point here. And we're going to be making our way up the embankment here, all the way along here and up to this line where it splits here for the Newmarket Colliery line. I'll show you where that leaves the main line and hopefully there might be some relics there, we'll see. And also I'm going to do a quick, a quick flash with the camera at this spoil heap here. Now the reason I'm not going to cover it in this video is because I am going to cover this in detail as part of the Robin Hood colliery video. So we're going to take a quick walk past that. Along the way I'm going to be pointing out some things on the left hand side to do with the colliery. Then we're going to make our way across this embankment here all the way up until we reach the Leadwell Lane rail bridge there. So there was a bridge that crossed the road there. Obviously as you can see that no longer exists. However there is a retaining wall and abutment still there. And we'll have a look at that and I'll maybe even climb up on the embankment and show you that as well. And I've got plenty of pictures to show you of the station and this area. So I'll try to do some comparison photos for you as well. And then the final section we're going to look at is the Robin Hood station here, which was originally on an embankment right here. The station was about where the, the text is there. Now, obviously, again, that doesn't exist. So I'm going to try show you where it was and if, and see if there's any relics or anything remaining while we explore around the area. So let's have a look when we get down there. I won't spoil any surprises. And then we're going to be ending today at this section here, which is the Matty Lane section. There was another bridge here. We're going to end about here. I was intending to do the Robin Hood station video all the way up to the triangle. But I've actually found and filmed quite a lot of footage and found quite a few different things up here. So I'm going to leave that for a separate video because we're just going to run out of time. So we're going to leave you around here and I'll see you in the next one after this, which will then be the Rothwell triangle, as I'm going to call it, or the Robin Hood triangle. OK, so let's get on with this section then. I'll see you down there at the bridge on the A61 right now. Hello and welcome to the next video. So I'm starting where I left you on the last video from the Loft House section, which is this bridge behind me. Just over there is the A61 Leeds Road. So we're now going to head this way and we're going to go into Robin Hood in Rothwell and I'm going to show you this section of the line now behind me. So, I'll just start walking down here because it's a long way. So this section of the line was one of the first sections to be built. From Loft House all the way into Rothwell was the very first section. But along this section down here, you'll see plenty of branch lines as well. So I'll show you those as we go down. They were added much later on in the life of the railway. So right now where I am is called the Rothwell Greenway. It's the old track from Loft House all the way down to Rothwell Station which obviously doesn't exist and it's all been now converted into a walking path or a cycle track whatever you want to call it really. Um, it's very nice even in winter I mean, the reason I've come down here today is, well, it's winter, it's January 2020, and look at the trees, there's no leaves on them, 
There's no brambles, there's no bushes. Well, there is, but not as bad as summer. So it means I can take you down the places where in summer I probably couldn't get to. And also you can see more through the trees, whereas in summer, no chance. Okay, so I'm gonna keep walking down this way, which is north, and I'll come back to you when I find something. Okay, so just about 100 yards further down from where I last spoke to you. And the first thing we're coming up to is the branch line, which went from this um, embankment here, the Robin Hood line, and off down to Newmarket Colliery, which is just above Stanley near Wakefield. So we're just coming up to it now, and it goes this way. So I don't know if you can see that, but the line branches off down that way. And if you look to the left, you'll just see an embankment over there. So that's the branch line that went off and headed in that direction. And again, I don't know if you can see this, but the white building, the white building right in the distance, not the green one on the left, the white one, that is Newmarket Colliery, or it was. That's where it was. So this line went all the way over there, but it's long gone now, and that's a big warehouse of some sort. So yeah, it's funny that you can still see it from here. And the next thing we're coming up to after this is this giant spoil heap which is right there I don't know if you can see that again we'll have a look at that later on that's a giant spoil heap which was left over from the the Robin Hood colliery which was just to my left and the huge coke ovens were right to my left just here where these houses are now so it's a brand new housing estate I wonder if they know that they're built on top of a giant uh, mine workings and coke ovens and things like that. So this used to be the coke ovens and just a bit further down on the left was the actual colliery itself. But again I'll cover the new market line on a future video and I'm going to cover the Robin Hood colliery sections on another video so we'll come back to them. But for now I'm just going to show you a little something. Again, you can see the uh, spoil heap there. Okay, so while we're here, I'm just going to quickly show you. You see the uh, pylon, which is there. That was used to carry the rope, the aerial ropeway or the cableway across from the coke ovens to this pit to dump all the spoil. So there would have there would have been a huge cable here which would have dumped carried little buckets across which would have dumped the spoil on top of there. But again, when I do the Robin of Colliery video, I'll cover that, I'll cover the spoil heap in that, so I'll take you up there and show you. And also just a small thing as well. There is a another concrete base there which would have been for another tower which would have been up here carrying the cable across obviously coming from where the workings were over here so yeah plenty to see we'll keep moving down and all the time I'm walking down here my eyes are just scanning in the overgrowth everywhere I'm trying to see if I can see any anything left I mean there probably is a lot up here but I'd guess that a lot of it's covered under leaves, bushes and soil as well. So I'm trying really hard to see if I can spot any relics that I can show you. But there is one just coming up ahead now. And it's right here. So this is definitely an old railway sleeper. Probably from here. So as you can see, it's quite rotten and there's still markings in it where they've had bolts through it at that end there and there was probably another bit there at the top. And obviously these steps here, I would also say were railway sleepers, 100%. So 
So these old sleepers here would have probably been on this track bed behind me. But again, I'll take you down there in, the, in a later video because that's the, the Robin Hood colliery sidings. So I'll take you down there. I'm just going to nip back up this way because I missed something to show you. And you can only see it because it's winter and it's clear. If it was summer, you'd have no chance. So right over here on the right, or the left as I was coming down, is the old sidings that used to run from this line further down there and slope off into the colliery pit which was just over there over the back there now all this industry here all these factories buildings shipping containers they're all built on the old sidings so the sidings would have come from my right and curved off down there towards in the distance and crossed the A61 down there so again I'll cover those when we do the Robin Hood section the Robin Hood colliery section but I'm just gonna keep heading down there's more there's plenty more and I'm gonna keep stopping so I'll see you a bit further down okay so we're about three four hundred yards further down the embankment now and we're just about coming to the end where the bridge would have crossed Ledwell Lane but just to my left here is where the the branch line so the sidings for Robin Hood colliery would have left this main track here so they would have headed down there and they ran alongside this embankment for a probably I don't know, a quarter of a mile further up and then they branched off so they did follow the side but they got gradually lower as they went down just thought I'd show you that so now we're coming up to the end of the track now Just behind me there, you'll see the line would have continued that way where the greenery is at the end. And the edge of the bridge is just over there and it's a sheer drop. They've now fenced it off but and it's full of brambles so I don't think I'm going to get that far. But the path now dips down at the side here so that's where we're going to go and I'll show you the bridge abutment the other side. So the line would have continued that way in that direction can see that now again I don't know if you can see this but I've got a picture that I'm going to show you straight after this clip and it's pointing this direction behind me and it's this exact shot but there's a lot of trees in the way now so I don't know if you're gonna see it but I'll turn around anyway so just have a look over my shoulder and I'll show you a bit further down a bit more detail so I've just come out a bit further onto the embankment and I'll just show you this way. So that house there with the white top and the house to the right is in the picture. And I'll show you that picture right now. So as you can see, you can see the white house on the left side with the double house, red house to the right of it. And then what you're seeing on the picture is the line venturing off in that direction and you can see the bridge wall there so it would have carried on this way okay so I said I wouldn't but I have I've made my way through the brambles although it was a nice easy route just there and I've come on top of the bridge wall so as you can see this is where it used to cross the main road in that direction there so I'll just show you around probably the best point to talk about Robin Hood station now the station was just across the road there so 
it crossed the Leadwell Lane bridge here and just as it crossed the bridge it banked to the right ever so slightly that's where the station was so you can see how high we are now that's the height of the station just over there probably and I'll show you a bit closer but just behind the line of trees there probably 100 yards that way and it would have been this height which is probably what 25 feet up so 20 25 feet and it would have been this high up there so this is the uh, bridge wall at the side of me the abutment you can see it behind me there look I'll just turn it around and show it show you Okay, so I've left the embankment now and I'm now across the road heading towards the station. Now I'm just going to show you this. This is what I think is the old gate post for the access path up to the station. So there would have been a little gate and a sloping path up to the embankment for the station. And I think this is it, so I'll show you now. I hope you can hear me, it is rather noisy on here. So that is the original fence post for the left hand side. It's even got the bolts on it. And the gate hinge there, look. Still got the hinge on it. So this would have been the original fence post and there would have been another one probably here. And the path would have gone up there diagonally above to where them trees are, straight in a line, sloping up to the station there. So let's go this way. Okay, so where I am now is pretty much where the station would have been. So if I just slowly turn around, you can see whereabouts we are. So we're on Hopefield Drive and the corner of Ledwell Lane. So just behind or to my right here. So this path for the station would have gone up here to about where that tree is there and the station and the platform would have been about the height of that station across that direction so towards that house over there so that would have been the station up there on an embankment the station was made out of wood and the platforms were made out of timber as well so it was very easy to demolish but as you can see going ahead the line heads in this way as you can see they've leveled it all now there's no embankment anymore it's all flat so if you look forward you can see that they've leveled it there but now I'm just going to take you and show you a nice quirky little feature which somebody has done as a tribute to the station or so I'm told I don't know how true it is but I was told that they did it as a tribute to the station so let's go have a look at that now I don't know if you can see that behind me can you see the clock on the house there it's a clock and I'm told that that is a nice tribute to the station by somebody that remembers it obviously that house wouldn't have been there I highly doubt it anyway they have been very close if it was and they put that there as a nice tribute now if you look at pictures of that house probably 20 years ago the clock was much bigger and I, somebody told me that that clock was the original, the original station clock. That's what they said anyway, they said that was the original station clock from Robin Hood Station. But obviously over the years it's now gone and they've replaced it with a smaller one.